calorie in the first few weeks cover. Be programmed to accept an array of n float values and display them in reverse order. See, here we are accepting the array of n float values. So you need to read n from the user. Means how many elements in your array? Suppose here we are considering the five elements in an array. So take the five float values. 7.2, 4.0. If you are entering the just code, then also it will consider the 4.0, 9.3, 23.0, 11.6. .3. Okay, these are the input values. So see, here is the output. This 11.2, 23.0, 9.3, 4.0, 7.2. .3. Reverse order. So let's see the program for the thing. So first. Here, rank int, suppose you need i, we need n, then take i and n here. In a float, declare the array a of size 5, or you can declare the more than 5 also. Suppose I am declaring the array of size 10. Okay, then here, right, print f, enter how many elements in an array. Okay, how many elements do you want in an array? This value here. Okay, so after that, can f person b. How many elements you want in such an array? So right here, address of n. Okay, this is a semicolon. How many elements in an array? Okay, in an array person b. So first accept the element. So do the message for the thing. Print f slash n accept n elements in the array. So person b element in the array. Okay. Accept the person b element. This person b means what? N. So accept the n element inside the array. Then for i equals to 0, i less than n. Okay, here we are considering the i less than n. Means you want the n values inside the array. So take the n here. Then i plus 2. So accept the element one by one. See, here is your array. So at the 0th position, you want the one element. At the first position, then second position, third, and fourth position. And the array index always starts with the 0. And we need to increment by 1. So here, i equals to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. And here, accept the value, can if there is a, uh, if after the for loop there is a single line, then no need to do this for me, bless me. Okay. Here, consider the percent x, because here we are accepting the floating point value. Address of A of I. At the I location, we will read the one float value. Okay, we will read all the values. So, after that, just print this value first. Okay, print all this value. Print F original original values are original. How many values? Original values here, so plus n, then we just comma here. Okay, origin value. So for i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus 2. Okay, and here print the value. So print the value. So print f, then percent f, because we are printing the float value, do the same space here, comma a of i. Okay, so right here a of i. Now, okay, see here i equals to 0. We need a i equals to 0 here. And we need to do this semicolon also. See, this is your accept and display this value. So now, print the values in reverse order. So how to print the values in the reverse order? See, we want this last element at the first location. Okay, and see, this is 0, this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. 
okay so we will consider this for here for position here but actually that how many elements inside the original array five so here we will write i equals to first here we will write i equals to n minus one so you will get the last element at the first position i greater than equal to zero till the i greater than equal to zero we will do this and then i minus minus so it will execute the first for the i equal to suppose then four then four is greater than equal to zero here then four minus minus go to the i equal to three and then execute in this so you will get the output printed percentage a of i means you will get the reverse of this array just click on a run and check the output suppose how many elements in an array suppose i want the four elements inside the array so i check the four elements six seven eight nine okay these are the four elements of the array this is your original uh, array six seven eight nine and reverse values are nine eight seven six okay so here we have declared the or are elements in a floating point format so it will consider the by default zero okay so in this way you can calculate you can display the n float value and the reverse of that float value so these are the how to accept the values so you need to use this for loop then use this for loop then original values are in this value and the reverse value is For I equals to n minus one, I will then equal to zero. I minus minus, and print here printed percentage here. Ah, 